from the series of learning programming in C, we are discussing 2D arrays in C. We have discussed like everything about 2D arrays. Reason why we are using 2D arrays, declaration, initialization, memory representation and how to access 2D arrays. So now we will discuss some 2 or 3 programs about 2D arrays. Right? Basically 2D arrays uh, are used to what? To uh, no, uh, do some uh, operations on matrix. So, you can also write like 2D array as a matrix, you can also you know consider it something like this. So, in this video I will discuss first of all a simple program, we will take or you can say we will read a 2D array or a matrix you can say, then we will print that 2D array and then also we will calculate sum of all the elements whatever you will enter in that matrix or in that 2D array, right. First of all we will see the logic here on this whiteboard, then we will do practical also, I will show you the output on my laptop. Right. Let us discuss the logic to print a 2D array. First of all, we will read a 2D array. Right. So, like this. I am declaring suppose a 2D array like int a and 2 and 3. Only a small uh, 2D array I am entering here. You can take 3, 4 or any size. Right. And for entering, we will use obviously what? 4 loops. 2 for loops. So, I am going to declare 2 variables for using the uh, those 4 loops. So, first read a 2d array using two for loops one for row like this we are going to represent this one row 0 1 index 0 1 2 these are columns right 2 and 3 2 rows and 3 columns this is a column size right so now first loop would be what i loop would be to read rows how many rows are there but now within these rows also we are having columns. So, this, this j loop would read the actual values right of these columns. So, two loops would be required that is nested loops would be required here. i is equal to 0, i less than this is for row and row size is 2. So, i less than 2. It should run for two, uh, 2 times only. Within this the loop would be for column j is 0, j less than how many columns 3 so less than 3 and j plus plus 3 times it would run right and how to read data using scanf function percentage d and address of a of i and j this is how we can read data that that, that syntax we have already discussed in my previous videos right scanf syntax i hope you are familiar it uh, familiar with the scanf syntax here yeah, we are using what two subscript i and j one for row and one for column right now we have entered suppose values here the working of these loops also i have discussed in previous videos so i'm not you uh, know uh, no, uh, discussing the working of this for loop we will also we will only discuss the working of the, the those for those for loop we will use for printing the 2d array and calculating the sum this thing we have already discussed so you can check out the previous videos so suppose i have entered some values like this 10, minus 1, 3, 0, 2 and 5. These values I have entered. Now calculate sum and print this matrix or print this 2D array. And I want to print in this pattern only like 10, minus 1, 3, 0, 2, 5. This should be doubt. Not it's like 10, minus 1, 3, 0, 2, 5 or in one line. No, I don't want that kind of output and this format only I want in matrix format. Right. So, you have to take care of this thing also. 10, then some space, then minus 1, then space, then 3 in the next line, next row. Right. So, this is this form I want output and also then sum of this. So, how to print? Obviously, two for loops. Right. We are going to access these elements. So, one for row and one for column. So, same loop would be from outer loop would be 0 to 2 then within this j would be 0 to 3 see need of the four loops also we have discussed if you are not aware if you are not clear that why i am using these kind of four loop nested four loop what is the reason behind this you, you must go and check out the video that i'll put in the description box of this video sorry the i button of this uh, this video so you can check out here the link i'll provide here right so now for printing purpose we will use print a function right and uh, here I am not printing or maybe you can print first of all and uh, see how to access how to print this one array name in first subscript i and in second we have j i and j one for row and one for column 
right and here only we are calculating sum also so how to calculate sum same formula as we have discussed in 1d array sum plus we will add these one so a of i and j and whatever the sum that you will store in a sum variable right and at last we can print the sum so before using the sum also you have to declare it and also we will initialize with a zero if you will not initialize it with a zero it will you know take some garbage value and then it will not give you the correct output because garbage value plus this data some garbage value you will get right so now okay but see now if you simply write this thing and suppose after this for loop after these four loops sum has been calculated within this for loop after this for loop we will print sum so sum equal to percentage d and sum that's it but see here are some mistakes also we will correct those mistakes but let me dry run this first then you will get those mistakes better right now when compiler will go come here here we will write main function and within the main function we'll write the same so size would be declared three for six elements right like this not like this this is how we see the size would be allocated but that would be in linear form either in row measure or in column measure form one variable i one variable j one is sum sum is having zero and i and j are having some garbage value well, right and suppose this is our address of this is let me uh, show you how this this is to be stored in memory actually i hope you are clear over this memory representation we have discussed in the previous video also you can check out that video right so this is how actually memory to memory is to be allocated to this 2d array or to this two uh, matrix first of all the first row would be stored and then the second row would be stored like this right so now i hope this working of these for loop the scanner function is clear i have entered this data now this for loop for i is equal to 0 okay i would be initialized as 0 condition true enter here j would be 0 condition true enter here now printf percentage d what a of i i is 0 j is also 0 so a of 0 0 a of 0 0 means this data would be printed right this is a of 0 0 row is 0 column is also 0 0 0 this is 0 1 this is 0 2 this is 1 0 1 1 and 1 2 right so this would be accessed and 10 would be printed so 10 would be printed right i am printing here only 10 10 would be printed then sum is equal to sum plus a of i whatever the value in sum sum is 0 plus a of i a of i j a of i j is i 0 0 that is 10 0 plus 10 that would be stored in sum so here in sum now we have 10 right now we are in this inner for loop so now j plus plus so j becomes what now 1 condition 2 enter again now again print f a of 0 and now j is 1 so if 0 1 is this one so minus 1 would be printed without any space but i want in a matrix form so i think you should want a space here some space so that would be what you can use here slash t tab so after this percentage d you can directly write down slash t within these braces within these uh, quotes double quotes right so whatever the in these double quotes that would be printed on the screen as it is but one and a percentage d only that would be replaced by the value here after this comma and then slash t means tab so tab means a space would be printed here and then minus one would be printed right so this is what you have to do one more thing you have to do that also we'll discuss now see again sum plus a of i now sum is 10 so 10 plus a of 0 and 1 0 1 is minus 1 so 10 plus minus 1 that is 9 so 9 would be updated here again j plus plus now j becomes 2 condition true yes again enter here again print one tab space a of 0 and now j is 2 0 2 is this one so 3 would be printed now sum plus this one now sum is 9 so 9 plus a of 0 2 j is 2 9 plus 3 that is 12 
so now in sum we have 12 right j plus plus now j becomes 3 condition not true yes exit from the inner loop and in the outer loop still we are in this loop so i plus plus so now i becomes 1 condition true 1 less than 2 again enter here again j would be initialized with 0 right so that will be for the next column sorry the next row right now again condition true enter here now see how percentage d slash t means tab would be printed and a of now i value is 1 and j value is 0 at this point i value is 1 1 and j is 0 so 1 0 means 1 and 0 this value would be printed here only but i want that should be printed in next line right so after printing the complete row one slash shall be required for new line and uh, this for loop the inner for loop is responsible to print the complete row so after completing the inner loop inner for loop we want to print a slash n within this outer for loop right so after this inner loop here right simply after this inner loop here simply you can write print a slash n and this should be in this outer loop right not within the out, the out of this outer loop after that we will close this outer loop so after this what whatever the line exit from this inner loop when j becomes 3 whatever the line after this loop that would be executed that is slash n so now control is here cursor is here and now i plus plus so i becomes 1 so now whatever the value at 1 0 that will be printed here now again j plus plus j becomes 1 and i hope you can see how this you are able to now uh, see how this is to be the working of this loop printing and sum right now again 1 and 1 so here 1 and 1 this data will be accessed that is 2 would be printed and now in sum 2 would, again plus 2 like this sum would be calculated so you dry run this you yourself dry run this program completely right before jumping to your laptop right and see what sum you, you are getting and how it is printing here right so i hope that this dry run of this is clear so now after after this for loop after printing of this and we have calculated sum then we are going to print sum percentage d whatever the value in the sum variable that would be printed so i hope it's clear to you so now let me show you this practically so now let me create one file for you i'm writing print 2d array right dot c please ignore my naming of the programs right header file and uh, then we will write down what main function and here we will take one array array of uh, 3 and suppose i am writing 3 or take same array 2 and 3 you can change the size according to you once you get the logic i then one variable is a j and one sum that is initialized with uh, 0 and i am just writing down enter elements of 2d array right uh, so in the for loop we will use outer for loop would be for the row so less than 2 and i plus plus and now inner for loop would be for columns so to uh, 0 to 3 and j plus plus and within this we will use what a scanf to take input percentage d and then address of a of i and j right so that's it now we are going to print right so now before writing uh, before writing the for loop i am just uh, writing what printf or you can write here rather than 2d array you can write down here matrix enter element of a matrix right so i am just printing here matrix is right and the new line 
so now i'm just uh, you know i'm just copying the four loops these four loops because condition would be same 0 to 2 and now inner would be 0 to 3 rather than this scan f we will write what print f percentage d here we write a slash t tab and syntax would be this one and then we will do sum sum is equal to a o i and uh, j right and i guess that is it after the inner for loop one more line we will write that is what slash n and after the for loop after for loop we will just print the sum sum equal to percentage d it should be next line so better to use a slash n comma just write sum and slash n i hope it will work <laughs> let me just run this So, it will ask uh, what the number of elements of a matrix it should ask I do not know if it will ask or not yeah enter the element of matrix. So, I am entering and elements like uh, 1 then 2 minus 1 3 4 5 see matrix is 1 2 minus 1 that is first row then 3 4 5 that is second row and sum is 5. Okay, <laughs> here the problem is I have written sum is equal to sum is equal to see. So, 2 equal to is <laughs> it should be sum plus <laughs> yeah. Now, let me just run this again. So, enter the elements here again I am entering 1 then 2 minus 1 4 3 2 and see 1 2 minus 1 first row 4 3 2 second row and now sum is 11. So, 2 plus 1 3, 3 3 6 and 10 12 minus 1 yeah sum is, sum is 11. So, now it is correct right. So, now this is how you can print a matrix of any size 3 into 3, 3 into 4, 5 into 5 any size you can take here. So, from the next video we will see some more program on matrix. So, now I will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care.